Hi, and welcome to Performance Plus and our tip of the day. And this is a tip that follows the previous one about grip tension. And this is about a concept that was recently introduced by an online coach uh, in recent months, and it's the concept of lag and snap on the forehand. And uh, I think this, this concept caught a lot of people by surprise. Um, because it's very, very new. No one's really ever talked about it before, but I think it really requires clarification. And um, I think that if you look at a lot of the pros, you do see something that looks like a, a lag in their swing, and there certainly is a lag. And what, what produces that lag? And is there really an intent to snap the racket into the ball? I don't think so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the viewpoint that I don't think that if you asked Roger Federer what he feels when he plays his forehand, that he would use the terminology lag and snap. So, uh, and you know what's interesting is that I had looked at some video, of some film of my own forehand from several years ago to say, geez, do I lag in my forehand? And yes, I do. I lag in my forehand, but I've never really thought about it. And from the previous video where we talked about grip tension, where you have a soft enough grip so that you can feel the weight of the racket head, and if you've got a nice, you know, rhythmic loop forming and then you rotate in, the racket will naturally float back because there's momentum coming forward and the racket's soft enough in the hand so there's going to be a, a, a natural lag, not an intentional lag, but a natural lag. So I think that that happens when you have the right grip tension and the right rhythm in your swing without you thinking about it, okay? I think the other thing that's a risk to snapping is how do you time a snap? on the ball. How do you time that? And, you know, if you look at, say, for example, Jack Sock, he has got an amazing forehand, but it's his own forehand. He has a tremendous snap, but he's very, very gifted. He works on his game all the time, and I think that if we're recreational players, even trying to become good, you know, open-level players, that a, an intentional snap on that ball is going to lead to inconsistency and even potentially injury. So, my recommendation is, is to start with a grip tension that makes sense. Stay relaxed and, make, and learn how to get the proper movement and rhythm of your swing and get your body behind the ball, which I'll talk about later and how to do that uh, in, in a separate video. And I think you'll find that there'll become a natural lag and then a natural catch-up to the contact point. But when you come in, you're not actually changing this wrist position and going like this. There is no way you could ever go like this and snap the wrist into contact. So what really does happen? Well, what really happens is that when you start the movement forward, of course, the shoulder starts to accelerate. The racket lags behind. It catches up because it wants to, it needs to, and then it passes by because the shoulder range is now starting to get to the end of its range. It can't keep going, so it actually starts to decelerate, and the racket floats past the hand. But the intention to snap is very risky. Risky for accuracy, risky for ball control, risky for timing, and certainly risky for injury. So what I would say is focus on the fundamentals of your forehand first and let the lag and the release, the comfort of that, then become natural. Okay, what we don't want to be doing, and, and one of our online coaches said this recently, he says, we don't want the tail wagging the dog. Okay, and in this case, I think if you don't have your foundation down and you start trying to lag and snap, then you're definitely doing the tail wagging the dog. Let's get the dog solid and then maybe we can allow the wag of the tail to become a natural consequence. I welcome your feedback. Please contact me, let me know your thoughts, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and stay tuned for more great videos that are going to give you insight into the game that perhaps you haven't seen or heard before. Thank you so much. Have a great day on the courts.